and they all lived happily ever after. Time for bed, girls. I love Kasha Wren. Let's go. Wait a minute, Mommy. Not yet. Can we stay up a little longer? What's going on, girls? We need to get to bed. We're scared. That book was scary. Now I'm thinking about all the things I'm afraid of. Like what? Airplanes, bees, coronavirus, storms, electric shock, fire, ghosts, hexes, invertebrates, judgment, kidnappers, lice, mice, nighttime, orthodontists, poison questions, roller coasters, spiders, teasing, under my bed, violence, violence. x-rays, yellow fever, and zoom. zoom. Did you guys just list all of your fears in alphabetical order? Okay, well, I feel afraid sometimes, too. I can relate. So how can I, I feel better right now? I can't sleep when I'm scared. Well, stories help. Um, and when I'm feeling afraid, I like to remember that I'm part of something so much bigger than myself. There are so many people in God's story and many of them feel afraid. Uh, I think I have time for one more story. <laughs> um, this story takes place at a time when many people in God's story were feeling afraid. It starts in Nazareth, a town in Galilee, and it begins with a woman named Mary. Oh, hi. Uh, welcome. Welcome to my home. Do you want to talk to me? We haven't met before, have we? Do you want to hear what I have to say? I do. Pardon me. Let me start over. Greetings, favored one. God is with you. Uh, what kind of greeting is that? Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now... You are going to have a baby boy. You will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And his kingdom will have no end. How can this be? How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child born to be will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Also, your relative Elizabeth is going to have a baby, even though people thought it would be impossible. But nothing is impossible with God. Was all of that a question? Oh, um... Well, are you going... Well, are you going to ask me if I want to do this? Good question. Yes. Here I am, servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to this message. I need to see Elizabeth. Elizabeth, are you home? I'm coming in. Come on in, Mary. Mary, I have something to tell you. You are so blessed among women, and the baby in your womb is also blessed. The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Elizabeth, I'm also bursting with great good news. God took one look at me, and look what happened. I'm the most blessed woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. I'm talking about the God who knocked the powerful off their thrones and lifted up the lonely. Uh, so can I stay with you for a few months? Mary's pregnant? How is that possible? We aren't married yet, and the law says that that is not good. Not good at all. She claims that this child, the child she carries, is actually God's child. My only option is to marry her and then divorce her quietly. That will save my reputation, at least. But she will be disgraced. I don't know what to do, and I'm afraid. Oh, Mary.
Joseph, son of David, do not be do not be afraid to get married. God's Holy Spirit will God's Holy Spirit has made Mary pregnant. She will have a son and you will name him Jesus. God saves because he because he will save his people from their sins. I'm going to marry Mary. I'm going to marry Mary, and we're going to have a baby and name him Jesus. I'm going to be a dad. I need to pack. Your Lord and Savior, Good Shepherd, Light, Way, and Prince of Peace, Caesar Augustus. First, I want to say you're welcome for all the great things I've done for you. There has never been an emperor as powerful and glorious as me. My empire is vast. You people are obedient. I am saving you all, all of you, and you owe me so much, so much. Citizens, I want to count you. Yes, let's get a good head count so that you can all pay me what I am owed. Go to your hometown and register your family so that you can show proper appreciation of my awesomeness. I decree it to be so. Farewell, my faithful children. May you know my magnificent ways. Farewell. Okay, so the good news is I think I found us a place to stay. Finally, this baby is not going to wait much longer. Uh, where are we going to stay? Oh, uh, did you get that room I like with the good breakfast? Um, not exactly. That one was full. Oh no, what are we going to do? Sleep with the shepherds? Stay in the stable with the donkeys? What? No, who would do that? Joseph, this baby is coming soon. I know, I know, the guest rooms are full, but I found an innkeeper who would let us stay in a small space in his home. Oh, good. Yeah, it's a nice space. Lots of hay, maybe a few animals. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Okay, stop there. What? Why? I don't really think I want to hear about the birth part. Oh, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Um, actually, the Bible doesn't really tell us many details about the birth. It says that Mary had the baby, wrapped him in strips of cloth, and placed him in a feeding trough. That's it. Uh, but those are important details. 
to remember for the next part of the story. It takes place at a field. Okay, keep going. Yes, go. There were shepherds living outside in the fields nearby, watching over their sheep. They were about to be frightened by some powerful messengers from God, but they would soon realize that they did not need to be afraid. Glory to God in the highest. <clears throat> Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Is this thing even working? Am I on mute? Are you people even listening? Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy to all the people. Today in the town of God, David, they have been born a savior. His name is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. A sign to me? You will find a baby wrapped in clothes. You will find a baby in wrapped in clothes. And lying in a manger. And lying in a manger. That is all. Goodbye. So you saw that, right? Yes, I did. Bah! Yep, that happened. Bah! Well, we're gonna get going, right? Yeah, we have to go. Do we bring the sheep? I think we have to. Bah! You want to come take us with you? A baby wrapped in strip, strips of cloth, left lying in a manger. Bah. We won't forget. Let's go. You too, sheep. Come on. Bah! It was a miracle. It was exactly how the angel had described. The baby was wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Friends, we have seen something amazing tonight. I don't know about you, but it feels like the world is changing. <laughs> yeah, but why, why us, Pythias? We're, nobody cares about us shepherds. We're poor and have, and have very little power. I have no idea, but the, the mother of the baby, Mary, acted like it was just what was expected. Like we were the people, like we were the people, um, it was meant for. Maybe this baby will bring up the lowly. And bring down the lofty, wouldn't that be something? star how I wonder what you are how I wonder what you are hello and welcome to our observatory we are the wise men Wise people, the Magi. We are really more like scientists. Astronomers, we study the stars. We study the stars so well, so when something changes, we notice immediately. And we just noticed a new star, 
We must follow our scientific instincts and find out why there's a new star in the sky. We now begin our journey. Are we there yet? You literally just asked that. Now? Actually, yes. Looks like we're here. Here it is, Bethlehem. Let's look up the local king so we can get some more information. Did somebody say king? That would be me. I'm the big cheese around here. Everybody's talking about it. They all say I'm powerful king. The best king Bethlehem, ha Bethlehem has ever seen. We get it. Best king ever. So, we are here because we are looking for the newly born king. The child born king of the Jews. We observed his star and it's rising. And we have come to honor him. Ah, uh, would you excuse me for a moment? I need to make a call. Hey, put me, put to my smart people. Hi, this is your king, the very best king. I need to know, according to your research, where the Messiah is supposed to be born. Uh huh, uh huh. Bethlehem, are you sure? Bye. Hi, wise folks. So yeah, this is great. Go on and find this child and pay him honor and get back to me about this so that I can honor him too. Uh, sure, okay. We, we can do that. <laughs> yeah, you know, let's get out of here. and plan his revenge. He felt very threatened. There was a new leader that people were actually excited to meet. But we found Jesus and brought gifts to this special child. We brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Usually these gifts are meant for royalty. Powerful people. Or grown men. But we brought these gifts to a weak child. Even though we didn't know exactly what was going on, we knew he was important. This good news would turn everything upside down. Oh, and by the way, we didn't return to the wicked King Herod. Nope, no way. We were warned of the dreams, then a different way home. You might say we took the scenic route. And now we return to watching the stars. people were really brave. They honored the king God had chosen and brought him presents, and disobeyed the orders of the king and still made it home safely. Yes, they were very brave and determined. In fact, a lot of people in this story were brave and determined. From Mary and Joseph to the shepherds, the magi, they all recognized that the birth of Jesus was going to change the world. Are you guys feeling safe and sleepy yet? Our story is coming to an end. Yes. 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 But this isn't really the end. No? Why not? It's bedtime. We all need to get some sleep here. It's just the beginning. Jesus is born, he grows up, he changes water to wine, he teaches, he heals, he flips tables, he... Ah, uh, yes, of course. Jesus' birth is just the beginning. We have a lot to talk about. But it's late. Tonight, let's focus on one special moment. This one night that brought us Jesus. That makes sense. This is a good story. God's story is unfolding more good news every day. And in the end, all things will be made right. That doesn't mean we won't be afraid along the way. But we can trust that love and justice will have the final word. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, alphabetical order.